right, this is our first lesson, and we're going to start with the unit circle. Um, let me just give you some basics before we um, dive into finding all of these common arcs, and I'll explain what common arcs mean. So this is um, the circle, and it has a radius of 1, which makes it a unit circle. And when we start uh, anything in trigonometry with the unit circle, this is always our start point right here. Just like when you graph things on the x-y coordinate plane, you always start at the origin right here. This is your zero, zero point. You start at the origin if you're graphing things on the x-y plane. So when we, when we use the circle, we always start, let me erase this a minute, we always start right here. Um, and then a few other basics here. When I travel in this direction, this is considered the positive direction. If I'm traveling in this direction, that's considered the negative direction. And when I say travel, the way I think of it is I think of myself right here. Here I am, little stick person Lynn right there. And if I travel, I think of myself as like walking along here, um, not unlike if you go to the track and you walk, although that's not a circle, that's more of an ellipse, but anyway, I think of myself as walking around here. Another analogy I use sometimes is uh, thinking this as a merry-go-round. When you get on the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round just goes round and round and round in a circle. Okay. So when I travel in this direction along this line, if I go this way, I'm traveling in the positive direction, and this line here, let me go ahead and put this here and read this path that I travel. This is considered an arc. So that's the arc. The distance I travel would be the arc length. Um, just like if you were, again, walking and you had a little step counter on or something like that and you're traveling a certain distance, um, that's considered length or distance. So a few more basics. Um, let's go ahead and erase some of this. And quit cluttering up the spot here. Okay, so a few other basics here. And I can think of this uh, slightly as my xy plane, and I'm going to do that just to um, recall. Uh, if I do that, it's like it's like dividing this into quarters, or if you remember back from plotting points, uh, dividing this into quadrants. And then I can consider this quadrant 1. I can consider this quadrant 2. This is quadrant 3. And this is quadrant 4. And we'll get into more of that later. Okay. So again, I start right here. And I consider this 0. Um, so it's an arc length of 0. I haven't gone very far. Well, again, this has radius of 1. So if I travel all the way around, I walk all the way around like this, and I'm back to where I started, how far have I gone? Well, this is a circle, and you may recall that the distance around the circle is called circumference, and we normally have a big capital C to denote circumference, and the formula for circumference is 2 pi and how do I how do I get 2 pi out of that? Well, let's back up a little bit. So the formula, as you probably know it, is pi times d. Okay? So the circumference of any circle is pi times d. d is diameter, and you know that diameter is two radiuses. And if I know that this radius is a distance of 1, and right now we don't, we're not using any particular units. This could be 1 centimeter, 1 inch, 1 mile. It's just a radius of 1. You could say 1 unit. So if I substitute uh, 1 for r, then d, of course, becomes 2 times 1, which is 2. And then if I put that back in this formula here, then I've got pi times 2. So that's back up here. The circumference of a unit circle is 2 pi. Let's refresh our memories a little bit about what pi is. First of all, 
pi is a button on your calculator. Um, pi is also, by definition, the, um, the ratio of their circumference to the diameter, and I would get that right here if I divided both sides by the diameter. Um, that gives me pi. So by definition, pi is the circumference divided by the diameter. Um, you may also know that as approximately 3.14, 3.14159 and there are contests that school children have all around the world um, and on Pi Day which we'll talk about later but one of the fun things that they do is memorize digits to Pi and there are infinite number of digits to Pi because Pi is an irrational number that means it goes on forever and ever and ever and ever so we just think of it as 3.14 as an approximate but if I want the exact value, then what I do is I use the symbol. That's considered an exact value. So the distance around the circle in exact values is 2 pi. If I were to give an approximation of the distance around the circle, that would be 2 times 3.14, which gives me 6.28. So the distance around the circle is... 2 pi or 6.28. Let's pick a different color and squeeze that in there. So 6.28. Okay. All right, so that gives us some basics here. Um, and I'm going to close this video for right now. I like to keep my videos short. Um, that way, if you want to go back and just look at one topic or another, you don't have to search through 20 minutes of one video to find it. So this is the end of the first video.